Since 9-11, public safety experts have been trying to figure out how to rescue occupants of high-rise buildings when disaster strikes. This is even more important when stairwells and elevators are rendered unusable. But now, an Israeli team has come up with an answer that is already operational in several major cities around the world. Our reporter Leia Stern saw one in action. Being trapped in a burning skyscraper with no way out. The terror is unimaginable. The world watched during the 9-11 attacks when victims jumped to their deaths. Now, one Israeli high-tech team is determined to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. When you look at it, you realize that these tall buildings are like silos where everybody's trapped inside and the only way out is through a very, very small surface area, which is the ground floor. And we asked ourselves, well, why don't we really revolutionize the surface area? The building has lots of surface area, let's use it. So that's where the idea came. Let's start using the surface, all of the surface area to get out. It's state-of-the-art Israeli high technology a rescue elevator that can be deployed in a matter of minutes from a building's rooftop. The cabins are made of a flame and smoke-proof material that enables passengers to reach the ground safely. The apparatus also serves to ferry rescue workers up to previously unreachable floors of a building. You can't even imagine how small it is in here. It's about two square meters and 30 people can fit inside, so it's pretty tight but you actually feel like you're riding down in a normal elevator. And if it's a matter of life and death, it will certainly save your life. The former deputy head of the Mossad, Major General Amiram Levine, says that it's no coincidence the technology was invented by an Israeli company. We have the experience, okay? Whether we like it or not, we are in the Middle East. We are in the center of a different kind of Muslim terrorism. And that's why we have to learn, and we learned it. Uh, we got a process going uh, that was a binational effort uh, with one of the leading American standards organizations and the Standards Institute of Israel to work together to develop actually the first standard in the world that would regulate this kind of a product. And that was a successful exercise, and about a year ago the standard was published. Company officials say their only regret is that they didn't think of it earlier. If it had been available in the World Trade Center, I'm pretty sure we would not have saved everybody. Uh, but from all of the studies we've done on the World Trade Center event, we would have saved many hundreds of people.